even though it's the latest in high tech. The way CDs work is really very simple. The laser is bounced off the disc, which is imprinted with a digital code representing the sound. That reflected light is picked up by a detector, which then sends the signal to a microcomputer, which in turn produces a signal your amplifier turns into music. What we've seen is a tremendous growth, basically, in this. Uh, people, the interest is coming in off the street to see what's new. A lot of people are aware of the disc technology and what's going on with it. Uh, the increased awareness of the disc and its uh, sound performance, the overall sound quality. Um, like I say, the demand, what we're experiencing, is way up. I seem to be getting the most number of requests or information requests from the audiophile, a person who spent a lot of money on his stereo system and he's interested in having the very latest. He's very fussy about his music. He doesn't listen to FM radio because he's not happy with the quality of it. He wants just LPs and discs, tapes. But some retailers say the local market for compact discs is still soft. The problem is one that has plagued CDs from the start, cost. No, the Eau Claire market I think is a little behind, for example, the east and west coasts. Uh, the price is still a little high for most people around here and the price of the discs is quite a bit more than records. I think that's holding it to back. When the discs start coming down below the $10 mark, then, then they'll really take off. Right now it's $18 for a disc and most people won't pay that for a record. If you catch a sale uh, from $10.99 to $14.99, $12.99 to $15, somewhere in that price range. Uh, if you compare it to a normal album at nine dollars, uh, for a few more dollars, the sound quality is better, the musicality is better off the disc. Um, what it offers too is that the disc isn't going to wear out at all. The supply of discs is beginning to catch up with the demand. Record stores are offering a growing number of selections, but only one plant in Indiana is making them in mass. However, other companies are getting into the market, and that could have an effect here in western Wisconsin. 3M's plant in Menominee is being expanded to manufacture the discs using the same process used in making larger video discs. The disc player really isn't made to replace or outdate any form of, of the uh, audio system right now. Um, what it's made to do is to supplement. 